Hi Mimo fam and welcome to another episode of Savory Wednesday. So today, as requested, I'm gonna be doing a French cheese mukbang. So I got lots of different types of cheeses. So I got Fourme, a 12 month old Comté, some Etorki, some Pavé Dauphinois, Sel sur Cher and two goat cheese crottins. And this time I got enough baguettes to feed an entire family, so <laughs> let's eat! Oh my god, yes! This baguette is so crispy, it just came out of the oven. <gasps> what? So first I kind of want to start, so basically when you eat cheese normally you should start with the one that is the less uh, strong in flavor and go up like crescendo, so I'm guessing the pavé daffino is gonna be the more like soft one, so let's start with this one. Mm, this one is so soft. Cheers! Wow. This is so good. This is bomb. Mm. Mm -hmm. And this baguette. Mm. Damn, I really wish I had some red wine right now because it goes so well with cheese. This really is one of my favorite um, cow milk cheese. Okay, so next I'm guessing the etorki is gonna be less strong than the comté. Etorki is made from sheep milk. So it's less strong than goat cheese, but stronger than regular cow milk cheese. Mm. Mm. Bomb. Oh my god. So this one is more soft texture and this one is a hard texture. Mm. It's way drier and it tastes like the farm. I don't know how to explain it, but it's so good. Also, some people don't like the crust, but I like it. Mm. 
This is my dream meal right here. Oh my god. So good. Mm. This is so warm. Oh my god. I love Itoki. So good. But okay, next one is this 12 month old Comte. So this is cow milk. And this is the hardest one. Let's hope this one will be good because sometimes Comte cheese makes my mouth really irritated because it's so like fermented. It's very fruity. It's a term we use when we describe the taste of cheese. It is very fruity. Very nice. Yes. Okay, next we have the fourme. So this is a very, it kind of looks like blue cheese, right? It doesn't smell like blue cheese. I think I completely messed up with the order because I should have like ate them like this. <laughs> this is the strongest one. Wow. So crispy. Mm. This is very strong, very salty. <laughs> Next. You guys know this one. I've had this multiple times on my channel, but this is my favorite goat cheese, kota. So it's a very dry cheese. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, this one is not too strong. I think it's not that old. It is very fresh. Mm. Yes, good cheese is life. Hmm. 
I really need to enjoy cheese before I go back to Korea next month. <laughs> Oh my god, hi! Mm. The ring neck parakeets are back. I haven't seen them in so long. Oh my god. They're so cute. Like this. You need water when you eat these. They are so sticky. <laughs> mm. The last one is also one of my all-time favorites. This is also goat cheese, but it's a more soft texture and also there is ash on top. I love ashy cheeses. Look at this. This one smells really strong. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. It's so soft. And really salty. Love it. Let's have some more. Wow. <laughs> okay, now let's eat them all. <laughs> I really like this pavé d'affinois. It's really nice. This is really not as plain as you think. Very salty compared to other cheeses, but at the same time, very soft.
crazy. <laughs> Toki. Yamu. I love the crust of these like hard cheeses. Cheese really is like wine. The more it ages, the better it gets. Cheese is such an art, really. I'm so happy because this one did not irritate my mouth. Usually, Conte cheese always does. To me at least. They all taste so different. It's amazing. Yes.
luckily we have some more. <laughs> Insane. Yes. And this one is so strong. I think most people eat this with butter because it's very strong. <laughs> mm. Let's mix it with this one. I'm sure it's gonna make it less strong. doesn't really go together <laughs> because mm -mm. this one is still very salty so beloved good cheese crotta And this one you really can't eat much at once in your mouth because it's so like dry and sticky at the same time so you could choke on it <laughs> happens to me all the time. Like it gets stuck in here. <laughs> mm. 
appelboom. Hmm. Let's finish this one. There's not much of it. Last piece. Ta da! Wow. Um, I'm full. <laughs> wow, that was absolutely delicious. I wish that you guys could try these. I will mention the name of the cheese in the description down below if you want to check them out, if you ever visit France, or if you're French and <laughs> you've never tried some of them. I would really recommend them. So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe today. And I will see you for a sweet Saturday. Bye, Mia Mufa.